You'll never guess who's awake. You're shitting me. Come see for yourself. How long has it been? Years. I stopped keeping track a while ago. I can't believe it's been that long. Time flies when you're watching someone breathe through a tube. How's the family? My wife's cheating on me with an altar exec, and uh, my daughter sits in her room listening to Aisha albums all day. Oh, for a dead woman, she sure releases a lot of records. <laughs> no shit. God, that was a hell of a year. Alderman Hughes, Mayor Winslow, Aisha, Chief Monroe. All murdered by that asshole who's been sitting in intensive care on taxpayers' money. They said he wouldn't pull the plug. Lord knows why. Anyone call the chief? Couldn't get through. The press has been mobbing him with phone calls. Oh, about the... Yep. I forgot that was today. You should pay more attention. Fuck off. How's the patient? Seeing as they're still breathing after being caught in a massive explosion, I'd say pretty good. Coming through! What happened? Shanking. Put him over there. Sorry about that. Have they said anything yet? Not yet. But I'm about to take the bandages off. Yes. That looks like it healed nicely. Be careful, doctor. Your patient's dangerous. You got anything you want to say to the judge, you better start thinking of it now. You're wasting your time. Let's get a hold of Troy. Hey! Is it really you? Do I know you? My brother was in the Saints and he told me all about you. Listen, we gotta get you out of here. Well, I'm sure if we ask nicely... I know a way out. Yeah? Then why are you still here? I heard you were in here and I wanted to bust you out. Getting out of here is a two-man job and no one else will give it a try. You really expect me to trust some guy I don't even know? Come on, I just got myself shanked so I could get a chance to talk to you. Doesn't that show I'm loyal? It shows that you're dumb enough to let yourself get stabbed. I'm trying to help you. You know what I got the last time I trusted someone? Blowing the fuck up. You need me. <laughs> the hell I do? I got the Saints. <laughs> sure you do. What's that supposed to mean? How long do you think you've been out? Man, I don't know, man. Two or three weeks? Look, I know you think you're a badass, but do you even know where you're at? Without me, you'll be wandering around the prison for hours. Even if you manage to hide from the guards that long, and if you actually figure out how to make it outside these walls, you're just gonna find out that you're sitting on a goddamn island. And I'm pretty sure you can't outswim the Coast Guard. You got a boat stashed here? No, but I know where we're gonna steal one. All right, let's get out of here. Try to sneak out through the roof or charge out the front. Your call. Let's get to the docks. I can drive us out of here. I can't believe I'm breaking out of jail with you. Yeah, it's a dream come true. Now let's move. Tough guy, wore purple. Oh, sure. So what are you gonna do when you get out of here? Let's not get shot first, then I'll worry about it. I pull this off. Glad you have so much faith in your plan. I told you I'd get you out of here. We're not out yet. Man the gun! I'm gonna get us out of here!
home free, baby! That's the road? It is now. Jesus, when did this happen? <laughs> when Ultra got involved. The clothing company. After Hughes was killed in that bombing of yours, Ultra picked up the pieces. Now they're everywhere. On TV, on billboards, in stores. Hell, if you ever forget who Ultra is, just look towards Saints Row and you'll see that fucking eyesore. Here we are. Where can I find the other Saints? Huh. What other Saints? What you talking about? Without anyone to lead them, the Saints fell apart. Once the Brotherhood, Ronin, and Samdi showed up, the few that were left dropped their flags before they got killed. Well, that's fucking great. Look, I know you didn't ask for it, but my advice is to just keep your head down. The cops are looking for you and a lot's changed. I say you just go buy a beer and soak up as much information as you can. Thanks, Carlos. Anytime. some closer to our blood stains if you didn't.
the century. A notorious member of a gang once known as the Third Street Saints, Johnny Gatt, was arrested last year in an assassination attempt against then-decorated police officer Troy Bradshaw. In the resulting trial, Gatt was convicted of one count of attempted murder and a staggering 387 counts of first-degree murder, promptly sending him to death row. Hey, Barry, turn this shit off! Yeah, I was watching that. I guess you're not anymore, are you, bitch? Could you turn the TV back on? In a few short moments, we'll be allowed back in the courtroom and we'll find out, once and for all, if Mr. Gat will go home a happy man or a dead one. Back to you, Jack. Oh, shit. Think you could start <laughs> shit with the brotherhood and just ah. didn't cry. You no. only laugh a little bit. Keep up. Yeah. Can't let my this is the last thing I needed today. Nobody gets that. me but me. Ah! The Saints are nothing but a speed bump. I'm gonna break those legs. Please! You better apologize. Ah! This is it. I'm not gonna give you a second chance. Ah! Of course I'm not just paying. I'm running and I'm gonna put you in a wheelchair. You people oh, gonna have to try harder than that. Somebody help me. Best hand bus you ever spent, huh? Oh! You were a school yeah. girl out there. Some pigtails for oh. right now. Huh? You I need to that. find a new job. Adios. Was it over when the Germans bombed oh. the harbor? Eres un ángel? Time's almost up, baby. You want to keep going? You shouldn't have changed the channel, bitch. We'll only laugh a little bit. Try a little harder next time, huh? Please don't lie to me. Stand around, these being in a coma.
Move it. Mr. Gat, you've been convicted of over 300 murders. Do you really expect this appeal to work? I figure with the statute of limitations, it really should be closer to 250. There's no statute of limitations for murder! Why the fuck not? Watch yourself, Mr. Gat. Or what? You hold me in contempt of court? You're already planning on giving me the chair. You think I give a shit about you not liking me? Fuck off. I'm curious if you can keep your cavalier attitude when 2,000 volts are running through your body. Oh yeah? And I'm curious if you can keep acting like a douchebag when I shove that gavel up your ass. My client would like that stricken from the record. What's that? <laughs> Drop it. Uh, anyone hit and need a lawyer? Shit. About time your burnt ass woke up. You okay, Johnny? Yeah, aside from almost getting sent to the chair, I'm fucking great. Hey, you look different. You do something with your hair? You ready to get out of here? Thanks for busting me out. Ish would have killed me if I got executed. You still with Aisha? Yeah, I mean, got a little tricky with me on death row and her being on the DL after faking her own death. But, you know, we found a way to make it work. How long were you in jail anyway? Two years and 31 days. Not like you were counting. Yeah, right? You know, it's weird. People inside were betting how long I'd last. See, when I was first busted, guards were always trying to put me in the ground. After Troy became chief of police, it all stopped. Troy must be more forgiving than I am. Troy's the chief of police? Yo, you better start getting with the times. Julius is missing, Ben King wrote an autobiography, Dex is a... You know, don't even get me started with Dex. But the real kicker is Troy. In a couple of months, he went from undercover cop to chief of police. And word is, he's become obsessed with finding out what happened on your little boat trip with the Alderman. If I get some free time, I might swing by the station and say hello. 
Your Phaeton levels are all good. Listen, we have to make this quick. Stefan is having another one of his soirees today, and I'm not missing his pool boy this year. Here's the deal. I've been trying to sell real estate in this area for a month, but no one's buying because the property value's too high. What do you want me to do about it? My cousin runs a septic company. I figured you could borrow one of his trucks, drive around the area, and, well, you know. You really think people are gonna want to buy houses if the area's covered in shit? It's really hard to find cheap housing in still water. A rival realtor has exclusive rights to new homes in Quinbeca and New Henke. Let's pay their construction sites a visit. Why'd you get in our way? That ought to make Javier happy. We having fun yet? I don't suppose you could cover that body. Let's see what this big bastard can do! Wonder how much they're willing to pay for that property now? I'll plow through anything that gets in my way! Who puts these things there? See you out tell my cousin now, asshole. It'll probably take him a while to find a body in this mess. I wish I could see the homeowner's face. Oops. I, uh, I think I just killed someone. So 
saw what happened. I couldn't have avoided it if I wanted to. I hope those construction workers have a sense of humor. That ought to make Javier happy. We aren't gonna make it! Move it! A rival realtor has exclusive rights to new homes in Quinbeca and New Henke. Let's pay their construction sites a bit. You think this is funny? Wonder how much they're willing to pay for that property now. This is great! Javier better pay me extra for that. I wish I could see the homeowner's face. We don't got time for traffic laws. That's coming out of my paycheck. What the fuck is wrong with people? It's still water. Everyone's bound to get hit by a truck sometime. Avoiding it would have taken too much time. People gotta learn how to drive in this city. That house looks shitty anyway. That ought to make Javier happy. You want me to pull over? Fuck you! Wonder how much they're willing to pay for that property now. That's a hell of a way to go. I don't think they appreciated that. I'd hate to explain that one to the family. Woo! What a rush! Let's see you out sell my cousin now, asshole. Didn't even slow us down. I wish I could see the homeowner's face. I don't know how the cops keep finding. A rival realtor has exclusive rights to new homes in Quinbeca and New Hente. Let's pay their construction sites a bit. Oh, for the love of God! That ought to make Javier happy. I can't wait to tell my wife about it. Woo! Wonder how much they're willing to pay for that property now. Nothing can stop this monster! Breaking's for pussy. What do you say we never talk about that hit and run again? Those construction workers have a sense of humor. Let's hear it for Darwinism. I wanted the cops to check to see if they're okay. I wish I could see the homeowner's face. Maybe next time you won't get in the way of a giant truck. Look shitty anyway. Yeah! You see me tear through that? That ought to make Javier happy. I think people would realize you can't knock this thing around. Let's see you outsell my cousin now, asshole. I hope those 
construction workers have a sense of humor. They probably... You ask me, this place looks shitty enough, but if Javier wants the property value lowered, that's what he's gonna get. Do these people got a death wish? Who needs the road? Well, that was unexpected. I'm surprised the cops care so much about a trailer park. But I wouldn't give for a gun. Good one! Did you see them jump out like that? Now that right there was a thing of beauty. I think that pissed them off. It's moments like that that make me love my job. What was that bump? Judging by the crap laying all over the place, I doubt anyone will notice. I feel like I got a little road rage building up. I'm glad I don't have to worry about cleanup. I knew this was... This beachfront property will be hot once Javier gets to move it. I bet we could take a tree in this thing. On second thought, let's not find it. What are these people thinking? Enjoy your picnic! Let's get out of here before the smell starts to sink in. I don't think we're gonna see too many people tubing in that. I'm never gonna walk barefoot here again. This was a bad day to be walking around in a two-piece. Some people are just inconsiderate drivers, you know? Now that's a day at the beach they won't forget. I swear to baby Jesus, this town is a fucking Wild West show. Let me ask you a question. You see a truck spraying shit, you drive towards it. It's hard to steer on all this liquid, you know? I hate city drive. You feel something? Seriously, how hard is it to avoid a goddamn septic truck? Let's get out of here before the smell starts to sink in. The fuck's your prop? I love being a civil servant. Out of the way! I think they might... No, they're dead. We ain't slowing down for nothing! Enjoy your picnic! We gotta keep moving! I love 
dog this shit. I don't think we're going to see too many people tubing in that. This was a bad day to be walking around in a two-piece. I don't think we're going to see too many people tubing in that. This is the best part. What's up? It's Gat. Meet me at Aisha's place. We got to figure out our next move. I like the so color. Could fill it with violence. Be cop. Come on in. You want a beer? Yeah, that'd be great. Johnny, who's that? Yo, come to the living room and find out. Johnny, I don't care if you just broke out of jail. You do not mess with my furniture. Oh my God, it's you. Surprised, Aisha? What? That you're here, or that you're talking? Pick one. We all thought you were dead. I almost was. Well, for someone who was blown to hell, you look great. <laughs> Did you do something with your hair? Now, I've been getting that a lot. Yo, can we get back to business? What's the rush? I've been cooped up on death row, and that bitch has been laid out in a coma. We definitely need to remind motherfuckers who we are. And that can't wait until after dinner? No. no. <laughs> you two haven't changed at all. Well, you know, there's a saying about dogs and blowing shit up. <laughs> so what's the plan? We get our crew together. Once we got that, we can work on how we take him back our city. Sounds good. And where were you planning on having this little meeting? No. Well, this place is pretty spacious. No. The color's very soothing. No. Come on, Ish. This ain't no fucking gang clubhouse. Change of plans. We gotta find a new place? Yeah, you got it.
Head over to the old mission house. We should be able to set up shop there. Why don't we just set up shop at the church? Altor's renovated it and turned it into a tourist trap. You're kidding me. I wish I was. We gotta find a new place, and the mission house will be perfect. Eh, religious buildings have kind of been there and done that. And we're not staying in the mission. Now check it out. Years ago, an earthquake dropped part of the city below sea level. And rather than clearing out the rubble, the city just built over it. There's an abandoned hotel below the mission that'll work for us. Alright, so what's the catch? We gotta evict the current tenants. Sounds like fun. Can't believe they thought they stopped me. You still can!
from this. I think my is dripping out of I'm only homeless, homeless because of the with.
So, what you think? It's kind of a shithole. True that. But it's a shithole with potential. I don't know, man. Oh, come on. A stripper pole, some flat screens, maybe some nicer furniture? You had me a stripper pole. Fucking A. You know, this ain't exactly what I had in mind for my day. Yo, we gotta clean this place out. Yo, I'm not a fucking janitor. No shit, you're a goddamn diva. Come on, this is the kind of shit people who just got canonized should have to do. Good idea. We'll just ask some of the crew for help. Hey, buddy, you wanna help? No? Looks like we doing this ourselves. That's my point. We can't really run a gang if we don't have, you know, a fucking gang. You said it yourself. Most of the old crew are either dead or busted by Troy. We're gonna have to start fresh. Yeah, well, let's get on that, because I'm done mopping up blood. This kid Carlos helped me bust out. He seems all right, but we're gonna need more. What you thinking? Yo, I met some people in jail who might work. Let me make some calls. Once I find out where these bitches are, you're gonna have to show them that you're the real deal, though. They won't just follow anybody. It won't be a problem. Hey, before you go, what sort of crew are you looking for? to help the saints, but first you need to do me a favor. A deadbeat friend of mine owes me money. Can you help me repossess his car? How you been? Busy. Yeah, I heard what you did at Johnny's trial. And I couldn't let him fry. You know Gat from jail? You know I saw Johnny in prison once. He didn't look like a really happy guy. He's happy enough when he's killing somebody. Seriously though, he's a good guy, just don't piss him off. Some 
Ramon, what's up? Listen, I don't got a lot of time. I was just calling to let you know that <laughs> I stole your car. Are you there? Great. Here's the deal. If you don't want your car cubed, I really suggest you pay me what you owe me. Talk to you later, Ramon. Yeah, you're in, Carlos. I'll meet you at the old mission. I'm gonna run with you. I wanna see you fuck some Ronin up.
Meet me at the abandoned mission house. I'll be there. I'm Shandy. What do you say you show me what you can do in that thing? What you say we go meet the rest of the boys, Shandy? Good times. Let's go. What the hell is going on? I had to do some canonizing. Hold up. You. You're next. Wait, what? Sorry about that. Where'd you find these guys? Like I said, I made some calls. You guys actually hang out down here? I don't know. Add a flat screen, some throw pillows, and a hookah, and this place would be all right. You definitely need a stripper pole in this bitch. Definitely. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So what do we do now? We listen. All right, everybody listen up. We got some serious shit to discuss. The Saints used to own Stillwater, and it seems like the only motherfuckers that remember that is me and Gat. I think it's time we give those other crews a wake-up call. Yeah! Now, I ain't gonna lie, a lot of shit's changed since I've been out of the game, 
so I'm gonna need some help. Pierce, you on the Ronin. I wanna know who's calling the shots and what businesses they running. Done. Shondi, you got the sons of Samdi. It's gotta be them. Fuck you say? It's cool. I, I got this. Carlos. The Brotherhood. I'm on it. Aight. Once we're done here, talk to one of these guys. I have something for you to do. It's our time now. Let's get this shit started. Oh. What's up with the dollhouse? Dollhouse my ass. This is how we gonna fuck up the Ronin. This'll be good. Psst, trust me, it is. The Ronin have a stake in Poseidon's palace, so I figure hitting their biggest money maker is a good way to show them we not fucking around. Okay, so what's the plan? You and I enter the casino here. Once inside, we need to distract this security guard. I was thinking you could catch me cheating or some shit like that. Anyway, while the guard's concerned with throwing me out, Gatto sneak in through this security door. Don't worry. I already got today's passcode from the blackjack dealer Shandy's fucking. Now once inside, Gatto have to sneak past the guards to cut the power. And when that happens, we only have about 45 seconds before the backup generator turns on. During the blackout, yo, 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 though... Hold up, man. I mean, I love the dream house you built here and everything. But what if we just start here, walk into the casino, and just shoot all the motherfuckers that are between us and the money? Well, you know... It would be a lot faster. And a lot more fun. Yeah, but... Fuck it. Let's go. Good call, Johnny. Get us both killed. You gotta love what I got planned for the Ronin. Who's calling the shots? A kid named Shogo Okuji. Now he probably spends more time on his head than he does on his bike, but it doesn't change the fact that he's totally ruthless. Good to know. Hey, I thought Pierce was coming along. Where is he? Pierce is picking up some of the other saints and meeting us there. I figure we can get the party started without him.
Well, they call the cops. Big surprise there. Pretty big score. Yeah, but before we start buying new cars, we better clean this one. Yeah, stashing a ton of money with a bunch of criminals seems like a smart idea. We gotta find a place to hide it. Yeah, don't worry about it. I'll take it to Isha's. You sure she's cool with that? Yeah, it should be fun. Do you need to relax? My father won't find out about the casino. Don't question me, Junichi. And we're in America. Speak English. Forgive me, Shogo. A little jumpy today? Over there. Sword. Listen, Junichi. I know you're having a hard time adjusting to the way I run things here. But how about you let me deal with my father, and you deal with whatever the fuck I tell you to deal with? Of course, Shogo. Excellent. Hey, hey, be cool. It's not so bad. Mero asked to sit down and have a chat with you. He wants to work something out before things get out of control.
Why is there a big pile of money on the coffee table? It's a little complicated. We shot up a Ronin casino and stole the cash. And you brought that shit here? Ish. Who else are we gonna trust with the money? But the Ronin know you stole it, right? Well, they wouldn't have if we would've went with my plan. Yeah, well, if we went with your plan, we'd still be talking about it. Fuck off, Gat. Excuse me? Shut up. We're on. The casino heist has left the police baffled. Standing next to me is Chief of Police, Troy Bradshaw. Chief, how's the investigation going? This is an investigation, Miss Valderrama. I can't get into details. Can you say anything about the Third Street Saints' involvement? I don't know what you're talking about. This leaked security footage shows the leader of the Saints, recent fugitive and Saint Lieutenant Johnny Gatt, as well as an unknown accomplice assaulting the casino. Obviously, the Third Street Saints are back after a long hiatus. All right! Woo! Oh, God. Unknown accomplice, my ass! Miss Valder- Also, reports claim that Altor is pressing the police department for a quicker response. One of Altor's investments was robbed. Of course they want their money back. All right, all right, we've had our 15 minutes. Let's clean this money. Do you even know how to launder money? How hard can it be? Buy expensive stuff one place, then resell it someplace else. This ain't gonna work. You worry too much, Pierce. Where it is, you got a car for sale. I do, but my baby doesn't come cheap. Money is no problem. Ronan are coming your way! I told you this was a bad idea. We fine, Piers. The Ronan ain't stopping me. Tell me you're selling some serious firepower. You look a little fancy to be starting a junta, but I got some toys I think you'll like. No way a bitch like you would take me out. Product for sale. Okay, I can use all that stuff. Let's go to my stash.
Is the whole town trying to kill you? I made a lot of friends, what can I say? You brought the wrong in here? Did I forget to mention that part? Shogo is explaining her failure to his father. Mr. Akuchi doesn't sound happy. That's because his son has brought him much shame. Akuchi-san is coming to America to teach Shogo how to lead. Is that good or bad? That depends on who you are. We need the saints taken care of before my father arrives. What would you have me do? I want you to do get some of our boys and kill them
tell my boyfriend I bought this. Three, two, one. Where's Johnny? Oh, I sent him out to the store. He should be back. Who the hell is that? Yo, that's our new house guest, baby. Mm. Caught this asshole riding around our turf. Got something you want to tell me? Go to hell. That wasn't very nice. Johnny, I just bought that table! <gasps> Sorry about that. Why the fuck are you here? Whatever you do to me is nothing compared to what Mr. Akuchi will do to you. The oil boon? No shit. When's he coming? I'll die before I tell you. Yep. Johnny! It'll wash out. It better. What the fuck's in Akuji? Kazuo Okuji's the father of Shogo Okuji. The asshole's running the Ronin. Okay, so who cares? This guy's a fucking boogeyman. When I was in jail, I would listen to some of the Ronin talk about what this guy did in Japan. It's not pretty. You think he's all talk? I don't know. But I'm looking forward to finding out. <clears throat> you cool taking out those fuckers by yourself? I gotta clean up around the house. No problem, man. I got this. Dane, don't worry. I'll get the money back. You're missing the point, Shogo. The money was insured. I'm more concerned about you. What? Ultor and the Ronin have had a very healthy relationship in the past, but lately, well, when I pay protection money, I expect some fucking protection. Watch yourself, Vogel. 
The Saints are a concern, Shogo. Not for long. Why is that? I've got my best man working on that now. Moshi Moshi. Speak English. What is it, Shogo? I'm in a meeting with Dane Vogel. He wants assurances that the same... Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Like always. Three, two, one. I'm surprised you're not still working from the trailer, Helmus. Well, you know, I figured I needed to keep a closer eye on the girls. How's that working out for you? I got no idea where the hell they are. You think that might have something to do with you parking your ass in a lawn chair making beer pyramids instead of working the corner? What are you getting at? Just that maybe you, uh... You getting smart with me? No, I'm just saying... Because if I think you getting smart with me, I got a good mind to step out of this chair and give you a tanning. 
All I'm trying to say is that you're a busy guy who can't be bothered to keep tabs on everyone. Why not go track down your missing girls? You do that for me. If you got the money, sure. that fat bastard. Uh, can't we talk about this, baby? Watch out! Help! He's trying to kill me! Who else wants to step? Just make sure I make it to Helmets and Wands. Give me back, you think you can disrespect me? I just wanted to get this out of the way, Mr. Mueller. I'm a big fan. Glad to hear it. And please, call me Chuck. So tell me about the project. Well, we're looking to do a follow-up to our blockbuster documentary, Skeeters on Fire, which really captured the youth market. What I'm imagining is something edgy, something urban, something I like to call bangers on fire. See, it's about... I'm in. Really? Huh. Well, most people have some questions about the safety of the... I just want to light stuff on fire. You don't have to sell me. 
Okay? Let's just get you registered with the Union, and we'll have you running around in a flame suit in no time. Three, two, one. I don't take much pleasure in this. Then let me go. That depends on you. Aisha doesn't care that I'm stopping by, does she? Fuck no. Aisha doesn't go out much. She loves company. You're gonna kill me, aren't you? If you're calm, help us find the money and do what I say. I give you my word you will live. Ish, you home?
Rat's been stabbed. We need a ride to the hospital. Hang tight. I'm coming. In there, get. I could save you. Man, he's not looking good. Just get us to the goddamn hospital. Stay away from her.
I'm so sorry. Going east. Good job. I'm giving you a raise. Johnny, you're going to be fine. <sighs> Gotta save East. Look out. Coming through. Pierce, listen up. Johnny got laid out by one of the Ronin. That mean I get a promotion? Don't get too excited, asshole. Gat will be back up in no time. Y yo, that came out wrong. Just shut up and listen. Gat was uh, looking into a Japanese crime back. boss called the Kuji. This guy's coming into town soon, and I want to know when. Got it. Don't fuck this up, Pierce. I'm not in a good mood. One of my girls at Technically Legal called me up and said that a Ronin bachelor party was getting too touchy-feely. The bouncers have all been paid not to do dick. So if anyone is going to teach those assholes a lesson, it's going to have to be you. No mercy. 
take me out. So check it out. You're looking at the Old Toy Institute for Science and Innovation, but the place isn't all Jacob's Ladder and Irrigation shit. In the center of it all is a bunch of servers that run the Ronin's web porn ring. Those assholes are making serious bank off their sites. So if you can take those bad boys out, the Ronin are definitely gonna be hurting. in the Saints.
That's that old toy. And you well dressed. A smile to me. Stay. Looks like the Ronin are setting up shop for some deal. I don't know who or what they moving yet, but judging by the amount of security they set up, something big is definitely going down. You're gonna have to take out two sets of guards before you can get a visual on the pier. If I were you, I'd use a sniper rifle to drop those bitches from as far away as possible. Let's see, who the mob? Day.
try harder than that. Unhill? So
I got the passenger manifest. Thanks. I'm not Shondi, so I had to, you know, do actual work to get that. What, you bribed someone? Why you gotta be an asshole? Akuji bought every first class seat on the plane. Looks like he's traveling with friends. That'll make killing him a lot more interesting. Well, if you want to welcome him to America, you better hurry. His plane's gonna land soon. How's Gat doing? He's in bad shape, but he'll live. If that was me, that asshole wouldn't have got away. If that was you, we wouldn't have had to go to the hospital at all. Yeah. I'm... Hey! What the hell are we listening to? I was listening to that. Too bad it sucked. When I'm driving, we listen to whatever the fuck I want to listen to. Why you gotta be like that? is going to have a lot of security, so be ready.
away! Like hell they are. Let's jack that car. Josh You sure that was his flight? I'm telling you, he was supposed to be on that plane. Something's up. Let's get back to the hideout. Hello? What happened, Juniki? What happened is that you left your father to die. I didn't ask for your opinion, Juniki. What happened? I went to the airport to safeguard Okuji-san's arrival. Once I saw the leader of the Saints making a move towards the terminal, I made my way to the plane so I could evacuate your father. His entourage willingly gave their lives to ensure his safety. Let me speak to him. No. What? Your father made it quite clear he doesn't wish to speak to you. Anything you have to say to him will go through me. You ungrateful little- Sayonara. After Kuji touched down stateside, he decided he was going to reopen the Ronin's gambling operations. We don't got to worry about the cops being on our ass for busting up the operation this time. That casino was hidden in the basement of the Marshall Winslow Rec Center. One of my boys has been staking the place out. He'll tell you how to get to the casino. Once you're inside, you should have no problem tearing that place up.
casinos downstairs, boss.
place. get through Kevlar. Away, man. Wrong place. Hey! <clears throat> Thank you.
All I'm saying is that we don't know how long Gad is gonna be laid out. And you're willing to make a noble sacrifice and take his place? Someone's gotta step up. Trust me, Gad'll be up and running in no time. And if he's not, then we have bigger problems. Up. How badly do you want the man who hurt Johnny Gat? Who is this? Junichi will be at Kanto tonight. This is our chance for revenge. <laughs> our chance? Who the fuck are you? Where are you going? I'm taking out the son of a bitch that killed Aisha. Die with some honor. Let's get dangerous! Ready to go! Attack! I'll drop anyone that tries to step in. Oh shit! Uh, uh, again. In another life. Bag! Ah, what oh, the fuck? Jesus! I ah. just died, got any good enough! The wall failed your Nichi. That will be an old game by I hope you put up a fight! Now before the Ronin. Where you die! 
Is everything okay, Father? He's dead, Shogo. Junichi is dead. And all I'm left with is you. Is that so bad? It's worse than you could ever imagine. Father, I... Leave me in peace, Shogo. I'll make you proud, Father. I'll finish what Junichi started. I'll kill Gat. I'll... Do whatever you want, Shogo. Just do it away from me. So the bastard's dead? I cut him up myself. Hello? How can I help you? Excuse me. You can't go that way. Hello, security? How you doing? She's dead. You really gotta ask. I'm sorry, guys, but I'm gonna have to ask you to return to the waiting room. Funeral? We're waiting for you. Cut it. How long till you're back? Doc said I should be up and murdering in a couple of days. Well, you know, he didn't say murdering, but you get the idea. Time to leave? Fuck yeah. You learn to shoot straight. It's something I picked up when I was in a coma. Get for messing with the safe. So what you think about doing this every week? You really need to get out more. You need me to change your bedpan? Shut up. Oh, this isn't going well, is it? The drip is a real love for bullet wounds. You know, you can draw flowers instead of a gang of people trying to kill me. It's the thought that counts. So since you've been out, I decided to put Pierce in charge. That's not fun. A chance against me.
I ain't gonna wait for my crew to take you out. That's not making things any easier. There's a chopper on the roof. It's our best chance out of here. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Rakuji. Shall we get down to business? You should care because I represent a multi-billion dollar corporation that employs your son. Now can we sit down? With the recent change in management, I figured it would be a good idea to touch base. We at Ultor understand that when working with the Ronin, there's bound to be some collateral damage. However, turning a hospital into a charnel house is something that even I can't spend. You need to keep your men under control. My English must not be as good as I thought it was. It sounded like you were giving me an order. You're quite astute, Mr. Akuji. I'm not a twenty-something who is impressed by a power tie, Mr. Vogel. I suggest you stop trying to bully me. Mr. Akuji, your son and I negotiated a very reasonable contract. My son's an idiot, Mr. Vogel. If you wish for the Ronin's protection, you had best be prepared to offer us something much more substantial. That's not going to happen. Then our business is concluded. Mr. Okuji, I can't possibly stress how unwise this could- Be silent. You can show yourself out now. Well, I guess that's that. Best of luck, gentlemen.
This is a hell of a place you got here. I mean, it's a good thing I had my tetanus shot, but beyond that, it's, uh, cozy. Do I know you? Name's Dane Vogel, who works for Altor. I remember he swung by the church and offered Dex a job a while back. You shitting me. Who's Dex? Dex was a man who had higher aspirations than being a thug. You can't blame him for moving on up. He was a fucking sellout. You call him a sellout, I call him a millionaire. What do you want? I want to help you. If I need any Altor Unlimited sunglasses, I'll steal them. So you're familiar with our products? Fuck off, Vogel. Do you want our help or not? Maybe yes. no. Well, this is a well-oiled machine. What do you got? We've recently severed our ties with the Ronin. Oh, you're breaking my heart. I know where the Akujis lay their heads. I doubt any of your lieutenants have that information. I don't know. Sean just fucked a lot of guys. Gat's talking sense. How do we know it's not a trap? That part's easy. I'll wait for you here. If you don't make it back, one of your boys can take me out. Yo, why don't we just cut the waiting part? I think the waiting part is very important. Gat, you with me. Pierce, you're babysitting Vogel. You sure you don't want me to take out this asshole now? Save the bullet for Akuji. God, I'm looking forward to taking those assholes apart. Don't worry, Johnny. We're gonna send the Ronin a message. Good. in my city. Gonna get it. This is Saints territory.
Yo, they've been gone a long time. Maybe I should... You really shouldn't. It's all right, Pierce. He led us right to him. Get out of here, Vogel. You've been a gracious host. How come you went to the Ronin and not us? You were in a coma and we couldn't find Julius. Timing is everything. I had no idea how far my shame could extend. Don't worry, Father. I'll fix this. No, you won't, Shogo. You'll continue to disappoint me. Soul, the souls of all the faithful departed rest in peace. You two have humiliated my family for the last time! Leave, little boy. Look at me when I'm talking to you! Fuck off, Akuji. I'm not killing anyone at Isha's funeral. Tonight, tomorrow, you name a time and I will gladly fuck you up. But not now. How noble. Nobility is sorely overrated.
so fun when you're fighting someone who isn't tied to a chair, is it? I didn't kill her! You ordered it. I'm sorry. Well, that brings her back, doesn't it? You couldn't even let her have a burial, you fucking piece of shit. No, please. Fucker still screaming. I'm pretty sure Shogo's dead by now. Back can dream, right? Oh God! Jesus! What is it, Pierce? I bumped into an old buddy of yours who was looking for you. Who is it? You can see for yourself in a few minutes. You brought him here? How do you know this asshole isn't trying to kill me? Please, I would never kill my favorite assassin. 
Mr. Wong. This guy used to have me running around killing guys in hot dog suits. I'm quite pleased to hear about your survival. I'm here to give you my thanks for killing Kazuo Akuji's son. You know Akuji? Akuji. Akuji and I have a long history. I have also had several unpleasant dealings with his son. What did Shogo do? When he was younger, he killed Mr. Wong's dog. You fucking kidding me. I do not joke about Sadie. If you guys got some time, we could... Is that? Were you followed? Shit, I don't know. You was fucking followed. You aren't gonna believe this. A bunch of Ronin goons are coming this way? Well, yeah. You ready for this, Wong? Whoa. I have not killed a man in quite some time.
But the Kuji won't stop here. I know. We gotta lock our shit down. When the Ronin come back at us, I wanna be ready.
Looks feel bad, man. Poor bastard. Follow me like a child. The boss asked me to make sure the Ronin don't crash your party, and that's what I'm gonna do. Wong. Nothing compared to what I will do to the saints when I'm through here. You talk too much. You got good timing. Mr. Wong needs your help. What's wrong? The Ronin have attacked the Heritage Festival. Mr. Wong won't last against the Koji. Where's Get? He ran off to fight the Ronin as they approached. Sit tight. I'm on my way.
No one touches Wong. Jesus! I'm not easy prey like my son. I'm not easy prey like my son. Huh? Uh. 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 Who else want to step? My skill? No. Ugh! I'm gonna cheat. Finish it. <laughs> Put Wong on the phone. Hey Wong, I want you to hear something. Come on, be a good sport. You hear that Wong? You're welcome. Thanks. A nice kick. The world will not be big enough for you to hide in. But luckily for me, you're gonna burn to death in a few minutes. Your son never should have fucked with my friends. Hey, I got you a present. A light bulb. Just what I always wanted. Come on, you think I'd just give you a light bulb? A face shredder. Just what I always wanted. Smoke this. Ever hear of a pipe? Pipes cost money. Money that can be used for drugs or shoes. What is it? It's the Sons of Samdi's number one product. They call it Loa Dust. But you smoke it. They suck at marketing, what can I say? The point is that this shit is all over campus. I mean, frats are buying it by the pound. If we get enough of the stuff, we might find out how to make it ourselves. And then we sell it for cheaper and steal their market. Exactly. How much stuff we talking? I don't know, three pounds? Two for science, one for the weekend? I can live with that. when you're taking on the Sons of Somdi. I think I can handle some banger slinging a Skeeter fans. They're not just gangbangers. These guys are out of their damn mind. 
For God's sake, they're named after the Vidoan Lord of the Dead. Shondi, I don't know how to break this to you, but you're in a gang called the Saints. Names don't mean shit. Just be careful, okay? I didn't know you cared, Shondi. <laughs> don't worry, I'll be fine. Hey, Shondi. I got the dust. You got great timing. I just got a tip that Mark Gabby is slinging nearby. The guy brings in a lot of money for the Somdi. Taking him out should hurt them pretty bad. taken care of. Good times. Now get me the dust and I can start working on our little science project. People in still war have gotten soft.
Gentlemen, how was business today? Here's today's take. There are many singles where 50 should be. Yeah, about that. I couldn't get a hold of some of my guys. These men steal from the general? No, I I'm not saying they're stealing. Yo, Papa Shango. I'm talking to the general. On the streets, you may be a popular DJ veteran child. But when you're in this car, you do well to remember your place. My place? My friends, please be civil. Veteran child, look into the matter of the missing money. If one of your bag boys is indeed alive, take one of his hands. I doubt he will be late again. If he is not alive, I think we have a greater problem. You want me to cut off some dude's hand? If he stole from me, he needs to learn. Yeah, that makes, uh, sense. Is there a problem? No! I mean, it's no problem. I got this. Hey, what's up? I can't believe what they've done here. It's pretty classy, huh? Whatever. A strip club named TNA? That was classy. This shit is just tacky. So did you find out what was in that lower dust shit? Science is hard. Anyway, like I was saying, I can't work it out, but I know someone who can. Who? It's a woman I met in prison. She knows more about this shit than I ever will. There's only one... What's the problem? She's still in prison. Great. Don't worry about it. I know how you're gonna break in. Samson, get over here. Hey, Shanji, I rigged up that bomb you want. Oh. Um, you should probably hurry. Thanks for the bomb and everything, but what the fuck am I supposed to do with it? Don't freak out, I got this all worked out. The prison is powered by an old generator underneath the building. Take out that generator and it lights out for the whole island. 
You should be able to sneak in, no problem. So where's the generator? It's not like they gave me a tour of this place when I was in a coma. I'm getting to that, relax. Just swing around the back of the island and go in through there. It'll lead you to the generator. Thanks, Shondi. worth my time. Catch up later. Let's get out of here.
drop me off at my house? I still can't get over that it's you. This is so exciting! So you're sure you can figure out what's in the sun's stuff? Don't worry, sweetie. When it comes to drugs or snickerdoodles, I'm the best. Ain't that the truth, baby? Toby! Thanks for bringing my pumpkin muffin back. You need anything, you let me know. Oh, I already talked to Laura about that. In that case, you mind giving me and the wife some quality time? I'd like to have a belated conjugal <clears throat> before the PTA meeting. Not at all.
Glad you can make it. You know, a nice robin egg blue would really spruce this place up. I was thinking more of an avocado. Ooh! Hey, can we, you know, talk about the lower dust already? Right. Sorry. That stuff is very sophisticated. I won't bore you with all the details, like acetone and trichlorothane, but there is definitely some very good pot in there. As long as we can make this shit, it could have embalming fluid in it for all I care. Making it won't be a problem. I'll give the recipe to Shondi. Now all we gotta do is stop those fuckers from producing anymore. Well, seeing as they're turning out so much product, they'd need a... Oh my god, I'm an idiot. What's up? I... In college, I dated this guy who would sell for the Suns, and he mentioned that they used to grow all their shit on a farm off campus. And this is coming up for the first time, why? I forgot. You're right. You are an idiot. Hey! Thanks for your help, Laura. Where are you going? I got a farm to burn down. We can't just charge into that place. You don't have to. What do you mean? Tobias is outside in the car. He's got a pilot's license. Why don't you just have him fly you over the farm? You gotta be kidding me. Does it look like I'm joking? I gotta tell you, destroying this much product just feels wrong. Look on the bright side, at least you and Laura get the corner to market. I never thought of it that way. Say, Laura and I's anniversary's coming up. You got any ideas? Knowing Laura, I'd say either a bacon pan or an automatic shotgun. not going to get very far. Fly me in close. Get out! Perhaps they did not understand you. What's, uh... What's up, guys? The saints raised my farm. That's, uh... That's some shitty luck. A helicopter-mounted machine gun has nothing to do with luck. Well, how... Yo, can you cut that shit out? You're freaking me out. How did they find out about the farm? Why don't you tell me? I don't know what... Stop lying. Dude, I said I don't... And he said, stop lying. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm telling you the truth, man. I don't know how they found out. Then you are not very useful, are you? I don't know how they found out, but I got some ideas. Enlighten me. Uh, I used to dig this bitch Shondi, and there's a chance, I mean a small fucking chance, that I might have gotten stoned and told her about the farm. Where is this Shondi? Word is she rolls with the saints now. <laughs> Let him go. Veteran child, you will go kill this Shondi. If you fail to do this, Mr. Sunshine will burn you alive. Does this sound fair? Uh... Excellent. Let's be on our way. all day. The Suns have been using the trailer park to develop their product for years. If you can figure out what trailers they're using as drug labs, you should have no problem making them go boom. than that. Thank you. 
pressed. After we took out their dealers, the General decided to be a little more discreet in how they moved their product. The Sons have converted the second floor of that sex shop into a dust lab. Whenever they cook up a new batch, they walk on downstairs and sell to the lonely bastards behind dances from coal cores. Take out the Sons clientele, then destroy the dust labs. They'll never see you coming.
barely worth my time. Nice place you got here, Shandy. What are you doing here? I've been watching this place. I know you're here alone. Not for long, I'm not. So you better get the- Don't make this difficult. You walking out of here? Unless you want a bullet in this bitch, you're goddamn right I am. Kid, you just made us. You know who I am? Seeing as I'm gonna kill you in a few seconds, I don't really give a shit. Keep your distance! If you want to see Shondi again, you better come to Cox. Yo, Pierce, I'm on my way to Stocks. VC told me to meet him there. You think it's a trap? Of course it's a trap. It's what I would do. Listen, I need you to find out some other places he might have taken our girl. I'm on it. for you, you piece of shit. You think I'm scared of you? If you were smart, you would be. You can't talk to the triple platinum veteran child like that. Bitch, you're gonna be begging for me to kill you. We'll see about that, won't we?
They weren't here. You find anything? Yeah. Veteran child was scheduled to spend it on track tonight. Want me to get a crew and take them out? Nah, I want this asshole myself. the best you got? Oh shit. Oh shit is right, motherfucker. Fuck me. Did you really think you could hide from me? This can't be fucking happening. See you soon. in my club.
Shandi, you okay? My ex-boyfriend's a dick. <clears throat> Pretty much, yeah. I can't believe you got your ass kicked by that chump. Did I mention that my ex-boyfriend's a dick? You should go home and rest. If by resting you mean smoking an ounce, then hell yeah.
Take a deep breath, assholes. What are you thinking, my friend? It's beautiful. And expensive. More money will come. You had best be right. Between the farm and this fire, we cannot afford to have anything go wrong with our next shipment. Don't worry, General. The shipment will be safe. These saints are proving themselves to be quite the nuisance. Then perhaps it's time we speak to their leader.
running away. You got enough ammo? Watch it. fuck are you? I am the man whose property you stole and destroyed. Oops. <laughs> you needn't dwell on your mistakes. You will not live to learn from them. That so? I'm afraid it is. Who the fuck are you? They call me Mr. Sunshine. Well, listen, Sunshine. I don't care how fucked up your face is. I ain't scared of you, or that other asshole. Pity. Gentlemen, I'm through meeting with my adversary. If you please, uh, dispose of this trash. Of course, General. <laughs> You're a general? Did you hear that? <laughs> that asshole thinks he's a... Fucked up. Wait! I so what the hell did you do, boss? The zombie are tearing our place apart! Shawnee! This plastic box stole your voice! Holy shit, are you high? I really like your hair, Shawnee. I'm gonna die. Great.
him? Who do you think Pierce running? called? The Somdi are tailing him back here. We gotta give him a hand. This is all just part of life. Hoping you would be stupid.
if our leader wasn't fucking hot. How you feeling? Comfortable. And very hungry. You need help standing up? No. I'm good here. You sure? Oh, yeah. You know, there could be some more guys looking for you. Uh, you could take them, right? Probably not. Yeah. That's good. Fucking lightweights. can't take all this sitting around. When you gonna let me come out and do some dirt with you? Don't take it the wrong way, Pierce. I'm just used to dealing with shit myself. Heads up, Pierce. Come on. Sorry, girl. No self-respecting brother plays hacky sack. Why you got the cheerleader calling the shots and not me? Right here. Pierce, I put you in charge of the Ronin. What more do you want? I can do more to help. Do you know how the Sons of Somni are still moving product after we torch their farm and drug labs? No? Then shut the fuck up. Why you gotta be like that? I'm just saying, don't bitch unless you got a solution. Um, guys... My solution is to do more than wait around for one of the 600 guys Shonda used to fuck to give us a call. There's a bunch of helicopters dropping cargo over Somdi territory. How the hell you know that? Gotta be fucking kidding me. I'll tell you what, Pierce. If you wanna watch me blow up some helicopters, you're more than welcome. About time you took me along. Pierce. No, I'm serious. I'm always on time. I always listen. I always pay attention. Pierce. Helicopters. I know we're looking for helicopters. I told you I got this. The fucking helicopters are here, Pierce. Shit!
About time you took me along. Pierce. No, I'm serious. I'm always on time. I always listen. I always pay attention. Pierce. Helicopters. I know we're looking for helicopters. I told you I got this. The fucking helicopters are here, Pierce. Shit! tight. We got another helicopter. About time you took me along. Pierce. No, I'm serious. I'm always on time. I always listen. I always pay attention. Pierce. Helicopters. I know we're looking for helicopters. I told you I got this. The fucking helicopters are here, Pierce. Shit!
Shit, they're flying over the water. Pull over, we'll take a boat. the boat. We gotta get back on shore and grab a ride. See that? Now that's a textbook carjack. Now this is what we need, some drive-by music. in this, my friend, but a price needed to be paid for failure. Don't worry. I only need one ear to hear the whispers of the Loa. I know that you will fix this. Of course, General. Do not worry.
bounce, motherfucker. I hate dealing with property damage cases. There are witnesses! This is Spackle Fishing Industries. Veteran child took me here to stuff frozen fish with Loa dust on our first date. It was good times. Anyway, not a whole lot has changed since then, and the Somdi are still moving shit through fishing boats. Take out the fish in the freezers, then go blow up the boat they're using to move the stuff. like you would take me out.
Every year, Stillwater U has a cultural day in the student union where all these different clubs will do stuff like set up booths, pass out pamphlets, give away couscous, whatever. Anyway, the sons of Samdi are going to be there to do recruiting. If you hurry up, you can take all those assholes out. Safe space. What a step! We gonna have a problem? Babe, you're a wave. I'm never gonna get tired.
Mr. Sunshine, come on, man. Where's the shipment? There is no shipment. This isn't funny, man. I couldn't agree more. I don't care how much you jack up the price. Just give me the dust. There's nothing for me to sell. You promised that another shipment was coming in. And there was. But the Saints stole it. Fuck you, then. Where are they slinging? I'll buy from them. No. You will not. You are upset and want your drugs. This I understand. But there are other solutions. Like what? You all will go and steal the drugs from the Saints. Are you fucking crazy? They'll kill us all. Perhaps. But if they don't, you will be taken care of for quite some time. We... we get to keep what we take? Oh, yes. standing around shit. Why can't something exciting happen? This is all I need. You had to say something, Pierce. This all just gonna bury you. These guys are willing to die to get their fix. Pierce, get the truck. We'll hold them off. I'm on it. Tear you apart. I can't believe you guys lasted this long without me. Cry now. You guys load up the truck. I'll take care of these assholes. Cut these guys any slack. Pierce, can you go any slower? No, I'm not, Sandy. I'm carrying more than you. Bringing you this truck, and now you're giving me shit? Whatever. The boss and I were the truck's loaded, this. boss. Pierce, take the wheel. I get your back.
Where's Sunshine? Give me the dust! Fine. Where's Sunshine? What does it matter? You're gonna kill me anyway. I'm in no rush. He hangs out at the old meat packing plant. See, was that so hard? I'm coming too. No. This is total bullshit. You can't just cut me out of the loop. I can do whatever the fuck I want. It's one of the perks of running a gang. Is Pierce talking shit again? Because I don't care what... This doesn't have anything to do with Pierce. If a strung out DJ almost took you out, a crazy motherfucker like Sunshine will tear you apart. I don't have time to babysit you. You won't have to babysit. Stick to tactics, Shondi. This conversation is over. Son of zombie.
You gonna stand there, or you gonna work out? I get enough cardio running from the cops. Suit yourself. I'm surprised you can run five minutes without coughing up a lung, let alone five miles. I'm full of surprises. Then surprise me and tell me how we're gonna take out the general. Well, that creep's always riding around in that limo of his, right? Yeah. So I figure the easiest way to find him is to go and tap into the traffic cameras at the police station. I don't know if easiest would be the word I'd use. All right, so it's not the easiest way, but it's the quickest. Besides, now I get to tag along. Are you high, or do you not remember the part where I told you I wasn't gonna babysit you? Okay, so you're gonna hack into the traffic cameras then? Yeah, that's what I thought. Let's go, boss. They're not gonna let us walk in dressed like this. We gotta get some disguises. Things got good trunk space. This should be a new look for you. You look great in a jumpsuit. I feel ridiculous. You gotta learn how to take a compliment, boss. You sure tapping the cameras is gonna work? I don't think they're gonna let us sit there and watch monitors all day. Just tapping into the cameras isn't enough. That's why Pierce is jacking some electronics so we can set up surveillance at the hideout. Station, remember to put your piece away. Most repairmen don't wave around guns. Welcome to the Stillwater Police Department. How may I help you? Yeah, we're here to fix the, uh, the thing. We're here to fix the computers in the monitoring station. God, there's always something acting up in this place. The monitoring station's upstairs. All right, let's get to the control room. Like being handcuffed, sweetheart. We've got you surrounded.
done. Let's get out of here. Keep me covered. This thing's heavy. There should be a helicopter on the roof. Let's go. Stuff shiny one. You sure she knows what she's doing? God, I hope so. We'll meet you back home. All right, people, here's the deal. We got a truck full of electronic shit that I don't know how to use. I want you guys to help unload the truck and set up shop here. Once we're up and running, I want someone watching these monitors 24-7. The moment someone sees that fucking limo, I want to know about it. Let's get to work. This is gonna work, right? Probably. You had me break into a police station for something that would probably work? Well, you know, I thought it would be good times. Thanks, Shondi. Anytime. Holy shit! I found the limo! Yo, Shondi, where the hell are you? What's up? Get up, we gotta get moving. What, you're actually taking me along? I can't get a hold of Pierce. Thanks, I guess. You're welcome. Now get up, we gotta catch that limo. Feeling okay, boss? going the general was headed towards the mall we gotta beat him there
comes. Get ready. Is he dead? You got a light? That's it, huh? Seeing as we stole their drugs, cornered the lower dust market, took their territory and killed their leader, I'm pretty sure the sons of Samdi are fucked. So, how'd I do? Well, he's dead and you're not, so I'd say pretty goddamn good. So you think I could take Gat? Not on your fucking life. What about Pierce? Probably not. Veteran child? Seeing as he's dead, I'm pretty sure you kick his ass. You're an asshole.
Where's your crew then? I don't need one. You sure about that? I could kill you right now. No, you couldn't. What do you want? Listen, I'm not stupid. I know who you are. Now, there's no reason for us to tear each other apart. I'm listening. Here's what I'm thinking. We divide still. I hear voices this way! But which way? I can wait for my people and still have gotten sore. Surrender or die. Oh, who's there? Whoa! Barely worth my time. thought they stopped me.
got my gang. Excuse me. Taking a boat out of here. No, no, no. You honestly think you can stop the Saints? So here we are. Jesus, it's like a coked up sideshow. Pretty impressive, huh? Aren't you worried about being in the open? People know to stay away. How's my truck coming? It'll be ready for the competition. Thanks, Donnie. You know that guy? Later. You're back! Come on, you expected anything less? Hi, I'm Jessica. Nice to meet you. Hey, I'm Carlos. I'm still Jessica. <laughs> you know, you remind me of my old house cleaner. <laughs> I'm kidding. I was kidding! Babe, you want to count the cash? Sure. Yo, Matt, you ready to work? Hey. Aren't you the guitarist for the Feed Dogs? Don't encourage him. Listen, lady, you guys met at one of my concerts, so I don't want to hear it. Don't you think you have enough tattoos? Brother, I got a lot of canvas left. So let's get back to business. The Brotherhood is about to come into something big, and I think the Saints are going to want to get in on the ground floor. So what's the offer? 2080. I'm assuming I get the 80? Yeah, sure you do. You really expect me to take 20 and say thanks? On your hands and fucking knees. Is this a joke? I used to own... Used to is right. Time's passed you by. Now you're a has-been with some burn scars. I suggest you shut the fuck up before... You're kidding me, right? Hey man, be cool. You really think that a couple of washed-up bangers like you and Gat have a chance against the Brotherhood? We'll see. Let's go, Carlos. Honey, you want me to have someone take care of them? No. Nah, they'll be dead soon enough.
Trump couldn't take out Donnie, let alone me. Man, I... Um, I miss you. That's sweet, Donnie. I missed you too. Oh, shit. You haven't seen me since your boss shot and stuffed me in the trunk of a car and the best you can give me is oh shit? You're supposed to be dead. That'll work. Now walk to the car. How'd you know I'd be here? You're predictable. What do you want with me? You're gonna do some pro bono mechanic work. What do you mean, pro bono work? I'm through answering questions, now get in the car. You know where some of your new friends are hanging out? Yeah? Here's the deal. You rig your buddy's trucks to blow, and I won't put a bullet in your head. You're pissed about Lynn. I am too, but I had nothing to do with killing her.
since I was in the rollers. Can't you let it go? I never did anything to you. All I ever did was fix cars. Go against the Brotherhood. They'll kill me. detonator's not working and I can't fix it. We just gotta wait until the timer goes off. Let it go. Who the fuck do the saints think they are turning me down? Sweetie, it's not a big deal. Just kill him. Hey, Donnie, where have you- Meryl! I'm so sorry! What did you do, Donnie? I it's the saints! Th they- What did you do, Donnie? They made me rig up some of our boys' trucks and- And you did it? I, I didn't have a choice. You had a choice, Donnie. You chose your life over the rest of us. I had a gun to my head, man! What was I supposed to do? Have a spine. 
I didn't say anything about the shipment. Well, that makes it all better. Bro, you should be pissed at that asshole running the Saints, not Donnie. I didn't ask your opinion, Matt. Mero, who's gonna fix my car? The reason the Somdi weren't able to get a complete lock on the university is because the Southern housing is being run by the Brotherhood. Prostitution, gambling, drugs. If it's a vice college kids want, the Brotherhood are pushing it here. If the Saints want to take control of this neighborhood, you're going to have to evict those assholes.
wanted to get out of the goddamn sewer? Why are you looking away? In case you're, you know, being followed. This isn't a goddamn spy movie, Carlos. Can you turn around? What do you got? Nothing. Are you shitting me? Listen, I tried everything I could. What was I supposed to do? Try harder. After that shit you pulled with Donnie, the Brotherhood are keeping a tight lid on what they got cooking. I've heard one guy mention a shipment, but beyond that, it looks like we're back to square one. Which is? We know they like trucks and tattoos. You were on my shortlist, and you giving me tattoos and trucks? And the shipment. Which you know nothing about. Carlos, I like you. I do. But you got a lot to learn about being a lieutenant. I wish I had more to give you. Believe me, so do I. But fuck it, we'll figure out something. What is it? I think I got an idea. Marrow said he got a lot of canvas left. I'm gonna splatter paint all over him. Carlos, don't worry. I'm gonna make a banger out of you if it kills me. trouble here. Heading over to the nuke plant. I don't think the cops are gonna be too happy about it, so I need you to be ready to pull me out when I give you the call. No problem, boss. I'll get to a helicopter.
I've got what I came for. I need to get picked up. I'm on my way. Who's your new friend? You think I know how to fly a helicopter? I had to pull a gun on the pilot to get him to... Getaway plan, Carlos. Let's put in a 
for me. So what do we do now? We jack a car and get the hell out of here. You gotta learn to lock your doors. What the hell? Bro, you are gonna look like a bad motherfucker. That's good, because I was beginning to think I looked like an investment banker. I'm glad you two are having fun, because God forbid we do something about the Saints. I'm gonna take care of them, babe. Sure you are. You think I'm afraid? No, she doesn't, Marrow. Now can you stay cool? I'm almost done. I think you should stick to tattooing and drop the guitar. Whatever. The feed dogs fucking rock. Baby? Carlos, where the fuck are you? I think your people skills need some work, sweetie. Jessica, how'd you like Meryl's new tattoo? Actually, I think it's pretty sexy. Rugged, tough. Radioactive? That's cute. I try. Now what the fuck do you want? Well, I just wanted to let you know that since you were nice enough to give my man a makeover, I should return the favor. Don't worry, by the time we're through with him, Carlos will look just as handsome as Mara. Listen up, you fucking bitch! Course, I don't have access to the same materials you did, but you know, I, I mean, I figure we can make do. When I find you... I mean, I'm sure you'll do something scary. Do me a favor, when you're scraping up your buddy's face, just remember, Mara gave you a chance to be his partner.
shit! Oh, God, you again? Where'd Mero take Carlos? I don't know where he is. Wrong answer. I can't tell you. Mero will kill me. You don't tell me, Mero won't get the chance. Stop! I'll stop when you talk. Fuck you. I'm not helping you again. This is your last chance. I heard him say they were going to take him on a ride around the docks. gonna get it. This is safe territory. Destruction of property too. You're gonna fucking 
kill us! Hardcore! Sorry. No problem, I got it. Watch out! Ah! Jesus Christ, are you trying to get killed? Look, I'm sorry. I don't have time for this. Sorry about that, baby. I almost dented my car on a hippie chick. Hey, I'm not a hippie. Mero, I'm fine. Look, I gotta go. I'm about to make the deposit. Sweetie, let me worry about the money. We'll have enough to cover the shipment, and once that comes in, the Saints won't have a chance in hell. Yo, Shandi, we're gonna hack or what? Hey, boss. Shandy, I'm watching Bobby and Amber. Can I wait? Not really. What's up? Mero's girlfriend just walked into the bank with a suitcase full of money. I'll be right over. Sexy little uh, Why is this always happening to me? Hey, Jessica, you gonna turn off that alarm? Yeah? How am I gonna do that? Hit the off button.
here, right now. No, you're not. What's this? Do me a favor. When you check the trunk, just remember you should have offered me something better than 20%. I think you're being too hard on yourself. Yeah, that car crushing thing was pretty tight. Don't get me wrong, I'm a fan of my work. It's just, I got so wrapped up in sending Mero a message, I never asked Jessica about the shipment. Bitch is dead. Who cares about the shipment? I do. It's something that Mero wants, and that means I'm gonna take it. All right, there's gotta be someone you can pump for information. What about Donnie? He got manhandled twice. I'm pretty sure he's out of the loop, if not dead. Hey, what about their tattoo? What about their tattoo artist? Good idea. What, what just happened? Shondi had a good idea. And what the fuck ever? She stole my... Don't be jealous, Pierce. We're all on the same team. You said before that this guy's in a band called the Feed Dogs, right? Yeah. They're playing tonight. Shouldn't be too hard to crash the show. Nice call, Shondi. What you say we borrowed a Feed Dogs power truck? You called me up so we could do this? See what this bad boy can do. That might have been a bad idea. You hear that? That is music. What the hell are we listening to? Yo, fuck you. I'm driving. We're gonna listen to whatever the hell I want. You doing all right back there? I'm fine. Keep driving. You took the place off of this thing, right? Just like I've been saying, Pierce, Shawnee's been on point with the good ideas. Why the fuck you gotta bring up Shawnee? I'm the one driving the damn truck! I 
almost feel bad for that poor bastard. He's still one of the fish. The concert stopped. gear on this stage I haven't played with yet. You gotta believe me, I just tattoo the gang, they don't fill me in on what they're doing. Remember that time you inked up Mero and you never heard him talk about a shipment with Jessica? All I heard is that it's coming in by boat. They leave me out of the loop on purpose. They were trying to keep me from getting mixed up in their shit. Your friend should have tried harder. Come on, I told you everything I know. Enjoy your retirement, man. Hey, Sean. Huh? You know anyone that works at the dock? Not really. Looks like you get to make some new friends. Now has got a shipment coming in by boat, and I want to get it before he does. Okay, I'll take care of it. I've been looking all over for you. We got a serious... Damn, those are some nice shoes. You want to sit down? Yeah. No, we, we got a problem. What's up? The Brotherhood are all over our turf. What do you mean, all over? I mean, those assholes are driving around in some big-ass trucks blowing shit up. Great. You got the boys out there taking care of this? Yeah, about that. You're not filling me with confidence, Pierce. What happened? Well, they kind of got arrested by the cops. Fuck you say? You got a bunch of big tattooed motherfuckers running around burning shit, and you're surprised the cops show up? This just keeps getting better. Shit, that's changed.
Mr. Marrow here to see you? Jamie, I'm trying to downsize here. Um, Mr. Vogel, I'm not sure I'm adequately conveying Mr. Marrow's size. Get him out of here! <laughs> or send him in. Wow. Thanks, Jamie. You must be Mr. Marrow. I've heard about the connections Altor has. You're gonna get my boys out of jail and help me destroy the Saints. Your bargaining posture needs some work. The Saints killed my girlfriend and crippled my best friend. And that's unfortunate, but Altor is a business and there's no profit in revenge. Don't worry about the door, though. That one's on me. Fine. You want money? In a few days, a shipment's coming in- Mr. Marrow, nebulous shipment or not, I think I made myself quite- <laughs> Let's try this again. You're gonna help me destroy the saints. An old tour would love to be of service. Good. Stillwater Police Department. I need to talk to Troy Bradshaw. Who should I say? Do it! Chief, there's a Mr. Vogel on the line. Put him through. Yeah, what do you want, Vogel? It's not what I want, it's what I need. Which is? You are going to release all the Brotherhood you have locked up. And why the fuck would I do that? I'm looking after my clients. Your, uh, clients are a bunch of criminals. Guilty before a trial. Nice. Is that the kind of mentality you like to instill in your subordinates? Huh. Spare me. Alright, they're not getting released, and that's that. This is where we're going to have to agree to disagree. These men are going free. The only question is if you let this be settled quietly, or if you want a media circus that will make you look like a joke. I thought Altor wanted order. Okay, letting these assholes out is going to only make things worse. Troy, in order to maintain the ecosystem, sometimes the rangers need to start forest fires. You should know that better than anybody. I suspect I'll hear from you soon. <laughs> In a surprising turn of events, several members of the Brotherhood are being released today. A previously thought open-shut case turned into a fierce legal battle as several high-power attorneys fought tooth and nail for their client's freedom. Curious about the court proceedings, I spoke to Chief of Police, Troy Bradshaw. My personal opinion on the trial doesn't really matter. They were found innocent by a jury of their peers. So you think they were guilty? I'm sorry, Jane. Listen, I have to get back to work. Hey, why don't you try talking to Dane Vogel? Mr. Vogel, what's Altor's interest in the trial? Altor has no interest in the trial other than to see criminals get put behind bars. So there is no truth to the speculation that the Brotherhood's lawyers are in Altor's pocket? Jane, we've donated millions of dollars to the Stillwater PD as well as rebuilt the shattered community of Saints Row. I understand that everyone likes to pick on the big corporations, but this latest groundless attack on Altor's integrity is just ridiculous. Behind me, the men and women loading up onto these buses are being given another chance at freedom. But the question remains, are we also giving them another chance at a life of crime? I'm Jane Valderrama, Channel 6 News. Back to you, Jack.
Brotherhood by boat. You gotta find a way to stop them before they reach the mainland. I'm on it. Thanks for the heads up, Jamie. Is there something I can help you with? They hit my boys when they were on the prison bus. Between your girlfriend and your gang, I'd say you're a magnet for tragedy, Mero. You think this is fucking funny? No, but I do think it's your problem. My problems are your problems. Or do you need some fresh air to remind you? No. See, my problem is that a sideshow freak is messing up my paperwork. Your problem is that there's a group of security guards with assault rifles pointed at your back. Your security guards look more like a private army. Call them whatever you want. The point is, they have big guns. I'm sorry you couldn't protect your friends. I really am, but old Tor's done doing you favors. Come back here again. And I'll have you shot on sight. Go fuck yourself, Vogel. I've enjoyed our time together, too. But I think it's time to move on. Gentlemen, could you please show our guest out? And Mero, don't worry about your little shipment. Altor has already appropriated it. What did you say? Altor security is taking control of the boat carrying your goods. It only seemed fair that we get compensated for letting your boys out of jail. You can go now. That boat is never gonna make it to shore. Goodbye, Mero.
Shandy. Meet me at Adam's Arcade. I gotta talk to you about the Brotherhood. Or have gotten soft.
Tell me you didn't pick this place just so you could play that stupid game. No, I picked this place so we could play this stupid game. This gang shit's got you a little stressed out. You need to relax. By playing skee-ball. Oh, yeah. You know, most people just smoke pot. Right. And then they go play skee-ball. Fuck it. So did you hit the docks like I asked? Wait, what? After the Feed Dogs concert, I called you to look into the docks and you said Look, that... I gotta be honest, I was really stoned. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, I totally am. One of the dock workers just called and said this big guy with tattoos and a scarred face was shaking people down trying to find out when some shipment was rescheduled to arrive. Why would Marrow need to ask about the time of his own shipment? I don't know, maybe it got delayed. And you're sure this big guy with tattoos is Marrow and not just some biker guy? I'd bet my life on it. Deal. Wait, hold up. What do you mean, deal? Saints are gonna own this town. Check it out. I got some more dirt on the ship. Hold up, I got another call. Hello? Okay. I just got some more info on Marrow's shipment. Alright, lay it on me. Marrow's bought enough guns to take over something that needs a lot of guns to take over. The point is that if you get to the cargo hold, you should find some nice toys to play with. Thanks for the tip. Bye, Bob. You there? Meryl got a shit ton of ammo stashed in the... You're a little late on the pickup, Pierce. Shawnee told me all about it. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm the one who told Shawnee about it. Yeah, that's great. Listen, can you tell Shawnee good job for me? Thanks.
okay? I'm fine. What's up? I was listening in on the police scanner, and the Coast Guard is reporting a lot of Brotherhood are coming towards you. You sure? Boss, are you there? I'm fine, Shondi. Suddenly I'm not so worried about the Brotherhood.
Yo, Shawnee, we're gonna need some boys to come out here and give me a hand moving this shit. I'm on it, boss. I'm glad y'all seem to like the new hardware the Brotherhood decided to hook us up with. <laughs> you know, up until this point, we've been toying with Mara. Kill his bitch here, steal his money there, but I'm through playing. We know where he lives, we have his guns, and I say it's time we take that motherfucker out. What you think? <laughs>
Let's do it, people! on this baby. Brotherhood are finished. Marrow, I'm coming for you. us out.
The shooting stopped. Do you think it's over? Your little buddy screamed like a bitch when we trussed him up. How about you, bitch? You gonna scream? for the greater good. One of my boys watched Donnie's mechanic shop after you shook him down. Mero went to check on Donnie, but when he left, he went straight to the docks to set up some business there. I don't know what's going on, but a convoy of Brotherhood are going to the docks now. If you can hijack one of their trucks, you could probably join the convoy, get to the meeting place, and take out all the motherfuckers that show up.
You didn't have a chance against me. Brotherhood ain't exactly tacticians, but they got at least one thing right. Getting paid to do nothing is love. If we want to be major players, we got to get some protection rackets going. And we might as well start with the neighborhood that loves to pay out. Chinatown. You sure look like the kid who the Get out!
your ass out of my ride. Still work out it's soft. with the wrong gang. The guy running the Brotherhood Protection Rackets owns the Pagoda Hotel. Shake him down and everyone else will fold.
I used to date this guy, Richie, who works as a baggage handler at Wardle. Well, the other day, I found out he was holding, so I stopped by to say hi and smoke a bowl. Anyway, it turns out that while he was at work, he snuck off to a hangar to celebrate 420 and overheard Marrow talking with some scary Eurotrash dudes. Whatever's happening is involving some serious money, so if you get to the hangar before the deal goes down, I'll bet you can wire that money to us. After that, if you're still feeling psychotic, you could take out the Brotherhood and whoever they're dealing with.
Take out Donnie, let alone me. you have the balls to come alone. I never said I'd be alone.
last words. Go to hell. Sorry, didn't catch that. As many of you know, the restoration of Saints Row is a tremendous success, but that was just the beginning of what Old Tor has in mind for Stillwater. This is Shivington. Once a pristine set of tenement homes, this neighborhood has devolved into a dangerous ghetto filled with undesirables such as these. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are wondering, ugly buildings, unwashed masses, what the hell is Old Tor thinking? My friends, we are thinking about the future. Picture this, glass towers, clean streets, and no one below the poverty line trying to wash your car. Impossible? For a lesser company, maybe. Now, I'm not here to make idle promises or vague predictions. No offense to all of you politicians out there. <laughs> no, I'm here to show you how we're going to do it. Now, obviously, before we can remodel Shivington, we need to own the land. So how do we do that? by directing the gangs towards Sunnyvale. Not only are we lowering the number of our detractors, we are lowering the property value as well, which means when we buy the land, the savings get passed on to you, the stockholders. The gangs cripple each other. We direct funds to the Stillwater Police Department, they increase police presence, and pretty soon, all those nasty little gangbangers are gone. Crime stops, property value goes up, and now your population looks like this. This could be going better.
Not really. I got a bunch of guys trying to kill me right now. Yeah? Well, I got a couple APCs trying to run my ass down. Listen, if they're coming for us, you can bet your ass they're gonna have a piece of Sean, too. You gotta go check on them. I'm on it. Got some amazing timing.
I liked Ultor a lot more when they just made clothes. What you do to piss these guys off? Fuck if I know. Yo, I signed on for killing gangbangers, not fighting some SWAT team from hell. Don't worry about it, Pierce. We'll take care of it. The fuck you mean don't worry about it? These guys are packing space age shit. Hey, Shondi, you date anyone who worked at a place called the Pyramid? No. For real? All right. You two find out whatever you can about this place. I want to take these assholes apart. I got a tip that a bunch of Ultor execs are meeting up at the Round Square Shopping Center today. They're being escorted around by Ultor security, but taking them out shouldn't be too hard. Now let's remind these fuckers who they're dealing with. Go! 
You're going. You didn't have a two. with me.
in my city. Is this the pyramid? Yeah. Altor's built a huge R&D facility underneath Mount Claflin. Let me guess. They aren't developing a better bread box. Honestly, they probably are. They're just, you know, developing guns and body armor, too. Why is Altor gunning for us? It doesn't matter. Here's the plan. Pierce and Shondi, I want the two of you to hit the streets and take out as much Altor property as you can. If Altor wants to come after us, fine. But we're gonna make it fucking cost them. Gat, you and I are gonna hit the pyramid. What, we don't get to blow shit up in public? Fine. We could do some damage street side, but we gotta be quick. I don't want to give Altor any more of a heads up than we have to.
too easy. even more boring reality. like you would take me out. is so diseased, she should be wearing a hazmat suit. Thanks for all the business. You think Crushing you could help me get out of this? There you are! Huh? You assholes better start ah! I almost feel bad for that poor bastard. <laughs> Come on, man. I'd watch out for those Masako dudes. You want to make a sad man? There he is. Fuck! 
police! Sorry, didn't know you were blind, asshole. Cease and desist! Immediately! Oh. You in trouble now! Let's back up and hit him again. <laughs> Dane, while your project has been yielding positive results, the board is a little concerned. I don't understand. The Saints are out of control! That was the point. When you budgeted funds for Force Majeure, we didn't realize compromising the Pyramid was what you had in mind. We're dealing with violent criminals. Are you really surprised they might do something, I don't know, violent? <laughs> the Pyramid was not going to last forever. It's better to spin this now when we are the victims than when Channel 6 does an undercover expose. Dane, fix the problem. Okay, maybe I'm being too obtuse. Let me try this again. There is no problem. We've had enough of your ego. My ego is what got you this far. Finish off the Saints, or being fired is the least of your worries. Is that all? Take care of this, Dane. Of course I will.
What's this? Don't know. I found it here and it was addressed to you. Looking to crash your party? Thinking about it. Well, your history with boats is pretty solid, so, uh, this seems like a good idea. I think I'm gonna go find Shandy. Good idea. Don't you care who sent it? Nope. But it's probably a trap. Yep. Oh, that's all right, Jamie. I think I'm going to skip it this year. Oh, and Jamie? Yes, sir? Please move my things to my new office, and 
set up a press conference. You were promoted, Mr. Vogel? I'm about to be. You in position, Johnny? Oh, yeah. Just make sure I get to Vogel. Mr. As most of you know, the Old Tour board of directors were assassinated the other night, and while we at Old Tour would like to take the time to mourn their passing, sadly, that's a luxury we don't have. The corporate office has named me chairman. And I wanted to personally let you all know, not only will business continue as usual, but we will be taking even greater strides forward. Monica Hughes has graciously greenlit a project that's very dear to us at Old Tour, the revitalization of Shivington. In the coming days... Mr. Hull, come with us. that asshole Vogel yet? Working on it. You put the Phillips building in lockdown. The security station's all over the outside of that thing. You take a helicopter and blow those things up, you'll crash their security.
kill that asshole Vogel yet? Working on it. He put the Phillips building in lockdown. The security station's all over the outside of that thing. You take a helicopter and blow those things up, you'll crash their security. All right, let's not be too hasty here. You're upset, you're frustrated, and you've got a gun, which you know I'd really like it if you would put that away. You should have thought of that before you sent a team to wipe out my gang. I tried telling the board that going after the Saints was a big mistake. They should have listened to you. Believe me, right now I am agreeing with you 100%, but you have to look at the positives. You're alive, they're dead, and you have the Saints' number one fan running all- <laughs> We missed it? Told ya. Now pay up. Where the fuck were you guys? Traffic. What? He's not joking. The roads have been blocked off. You see Gad out there? Oh, he's fine. He's still out there killing cops. Figures. What is it? It's done. Time to pull out of there. You sure? Get the fuck off of me! I mean, I'm not running out of ammo anytime soon. I'm sure. See you back home. Later. Who you calling now? All right.
Arsenal.